Hi, I'm Big Ben with BTS Photography. Welcome to the first of several webisodes uh, in my basement studio, as we call it, uh, which is really cool because I'm trying to inspire all of you out there that you don't need a big expensive studio space to shoot awesome pictures. Uh, if you shoot out of your garage, you could call it a Garudio. That's what I used to call mine. Uh, when I built my house a couple years ago, I have a nice unfinished basement here that I have converted to my home studio. Uh, what's really cool is that if you need a large space, you can always rent one. But for most of my personal projects and DIY stuff and testing out lights and different setups and commercial and product photography, I do a lot of it in my basement. And so here we are from my basement. And what these are going to be geared to is the beginner strobus things. I'm uh, constantly emailed lots of questions from you viewers out there on... How do I, what flash do I buy? What type of boom stand are you using? What type of lenses are you using? How do you get your flash on a stand? And how do you fire your flash uh, wirelessly when it's not on your camera? Well, we're going to be addressing all those in several episodes. So let's get going. In this first episode, uh, I'm going to be talking about where to get flashes, what kind of flashes to buy, and what's the benefits of of using flashes. Well. First off, everyone, when they first get their camera, they get their first DSLR, they'll get a lens or two, and then like, okay, it's time to get a flash. So they go to their local camel, camera store or online retailer, and they look, like, holy cow, uh, this flash is $600, this flash is $500, this flash is $400. How do these guys have all these flashes? They must be millionaires. Well, the answer is, is that I don't use any of the new flashes that are out there. I don't use the new SB900. I don't use the 580EX2. I simply go online and buy a lot of the old flashes from the dealers that were popular in the back, back early 90s and uh, late 80s. What's really good about these is that since we are going to be shooting in manual mode, meaning the camera is in manual mode and my flash is in manual mode, I don't need any of the TTL information or all the fancy fancy coding and stuff that comes in your new flashes. All I'm looking for is something that is cheap, has multiple power options, a manual mode, and most importantly has a sync port on the side so I can hook up a wireless trigger to it. Uh, these two flashes, this one's a Nikon SB25. Uh, this guy's the model before that, an SB24. I picked these up on eBay on uh, Buy It Now auctions for about $80. And that's what's great. You don't need to go out and spend $800 on a brand new flash. Literally, go on eBay, go to the used camera store, find a reputable dealer who has actual pictures of the actual object you're buying, and go ahead and get a few of these. I think I got most of mine on eBay, a few, a few others I got on the used market. So, the next question I, we get asked a lot is how do we get our flash onto our light stand and the answer to that is what we call an umbrella umbrella swivel mount or a modifier swivel mount or just a flash mount basically all it is it's a piece of hardware with a junction in it so you can bend it as well as a cold shoe mount on top when I say cold shoe mount that's the little slide that your flash can slide into the only difference is, is that this one doesn't have electricity or power going through it to fire the flash. It simply is, serves as a holder to hold the flash. Uh, one important thing with these guys is that the actual cold shoe mount is made of metal with good reason because they get beamed up and banged a lot. But the issue is is that your flash, since it has those communication contacts on the bottom, those electrical contacts to not only fire the flash but send information when it's on top of your camera or shooting in TTL mode, uh, you need to put a piece of electric tape, gaffer tape, you know, duct tape, any type of insulated tape over the surface where your flash is mounting. Because since you got metal contacts on the bottom of your flash and a metal mount, you can guess what could happen potentially if you didn't tape that over. Probably end up with a dead flash. So most importantly, just put a little piece of tape over that. So to attach this to a light stand is actually really simple. Uh, your standard light stand will usually have a little bun on there or a little nub or you know whatever you want to call it that comes with a little brass fitting that's usually a three eighths or a quarter inch mount and your umbrella swivel mount which I was talking about literally just clanks right on there 
screws on. And now your flash can slide into the cold shoe mount. And now your flash is mounted to, to your light stand. One thing to remember is, is that on most of these umbrella swivel mounts, there is an umbrella hole, so you can put the shaft on an umbrella and, cook, and hook up an umbrella to it. Uh, make sure that when you tilt it, the umbrella should move on the same axis as the flash. And in most cases, the actual hole for the umbrella mount will be on the same side as the flash, which is the top or the upside. If you don't do that and you mount it upside down, if you tilt your flash up and down, it's going to end up to where the umbrella isn't going to move with it and you're going to have crooked lighting and it isn't going to look right. Your umbrella and your flash should move together as one. So that's how we mount that there. Uh, the other thing you need to worry about that we'll close off in this episode is simply is where do I get an umbrella swivel mount? Well, any of your reputable online dealers or your local camera store should sell these. I do recommend uh, buying the Manfrotto brand. I'm not sponsored by Manfrotto. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm simply talking about products that have worked for me over the years and I know that are good and going to last you. These come in plastic editions as well as the metal ones. I highly recommend getting an, a metal umbrella swivel mount because it's going to last you a lot longer and it's not going to break. A lot of my plastic cheaper ones such as the Photoflex ones, they're made out of plastic. Uh, the threads strip, uh, the springs pop out of them and they don't stand up to a lot of abuse. So again, I'm, BT I'm Ben with BTS Photography. Check out more of my work at btsphotography.com as well as our video site of captaincoyote.com and we will see you again soon uh, on our next episode here. We're going to be talking about how we actually trigger our flashes. Talk to you then.